Hello guys, Rodney Walker here with Grant Central USA coming to you with the Get Funded with Rodney. Are you ready to get funded? Well, let me tell you about a lady who's not only getting funded, she is getting fun with her business. And I'm excited <laughs> to bring you, uh, bring her to you on a day. I'm going to be bringing to you all the way from, you can't say Hawaii, but she's going to tell you I'm right now in Kauai. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please give it up for my friend, Miss Rosetta Williams. Hey, Rosetta. Hey, Rodney. Thank you for having me today. How exciting. I'm excited to have you again. You've been having some awesome stuff happen, happening oh, your way and yes. mind blowing stuff. And we just got through doing an uh, interview not too long ago with mm -hmm. you and you were just kind of revving up. And listen, you didn't tell me you was going to listen. You didn't tell me you was getting ready to do a, 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 a skydive around here, a blast <laughs> off. But that's exactly what you did. And I can't wait to tell people about what you did. Listen, trust me, you that's li listening right now, you don't want to go nowhere because in the next three minutes, she's going to share some amazing things that happened with her business. And uh, it's going to really inspire you in some really, really positive ways. So without further ado, Rosetta, tell them where you're at. I already told them you're in Kauai, Hawaii, one of those places. Tell them where you're at and, and uh, tell, them, tell us about your business real quickly. Well, I am on the beautiful island of Kauai, the oldest and the greenest island in chain. So feeling very blessed and lucky to be here. Oh man, the business, Rodney, the business has been taking off. <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> taking off is an understatement. It is I, an understatement. What's been yes, going on with you well, is phenomenal. Okay, phenomenal. Yeah, but I don't, before we tell them about the phenomenal stuff that's been happening, I want to back up and tell them briefly about your business mm -hmm. and then where it was at. And then I want to take them to where it is now. So, right. so tell us, tell us about the name of the business. So they at least know that. We have set the stage. So I am the founder and CEO of Right Touch Consulting. Um, as I mentioned here in Kauai, it is amazing. <laughs> I've gotten the opportunity to work with some awesome and amazing clients um, since being on the island um, and doing this work I've had I've raised over five million dollars worked in 27 different uh, with 27 different clients as well as um, 15 different industries but even through that success at the beginning of all of that I um I did not even dream of where the business could possibly go at the time I was I just seen myself as a, a grant writer and mm -hmm. I was just grant writing, you know, I, I wasn't uh -huh. pricing myself properly. I wasn't, um, I wasn't in a place that, that kept me, what inspired me to get into grant writing kept me going. It, I was starting to lose its spark because I was like, man, something is happening. Something is missing. Um, mm -hmm. And as I kind of started going along, I was, yes, of course, having success is getting clients and, and making millions of dollars, but I still was not feeling as happy and excited about doing the work. And so, so you, were now, these, wait, wait, you were helping these clients to raise millions of dollars for the nonprofit organizations. Yeah. But it's still, you still right now, we're not at a great place then it sounds like. Oh, no, I mean, no, I was underpricing myself. I, mm -hmm. um, I was, I have a heart for the work that I do. I love working with nonprofits because I, know the impact that they they provide in the community so i was like oh you know it's fine yeah we'll just i'll just take whatever <laughs> but what was happening is i was feeding them but i wasn't eating right <laughs> that's not good we all gotta eat right not just some of us <laughs> i wasn't eating so i really okay, had to, to take a step back um well what kind of spawned it for me is i, I went through the program i went through wait, wait, wait. but how do we you went through the program but how do we how did we even connect in the first place <laughs> funny story i was um working with someone a, a friend of mine and she had been following you for a while and she came over and we were talking she was going to help me do some grant work and she said i'm going to watch this video and i was like fine and it was one of your videos and okay. so she's telling me she's going to watch this video and I'm sitting there and I'm working on this grant and I was in the moment having a problem client. And 
And so it was really kind of a struggle to even get through the grad. And I'm sitting there and I'm writing and I'm just like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> you know, it was hard, Rodney, it was hard. And then I hear you say in the video, are you tired of having these problem clients? <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> and then I hear you say, are you tired of working and getting paid less than what you're worth? Yes. Working on retainers? Yes. I felt like you were reading my mind. <laughs> I was. I was there, I think. Was I, there? <laughs> I think you were there. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, I had to put that grant away. I said, I need to just listen for a little bit. And I had came in, I started listening probably at the end of the, the, the uh, video that I was watching. Okay. So I said, I signed, I said, I'm signing up. So I signed up to watch it again, to see if I could watch that video again. And here I am uh, the next day from the beginning, I'm, I'm in it. I want to hear everything you got to say. <laughs> so so you look at, you, you're looking at the, the uh, becoming a, a six figure grant writer. Yes, a that's one. Grand okay, writer. got it, got it. Okay, grant writer, and I said, "This is he is on point. Everything he's saying, this is." I am having a struggle. I was starting to lose my mm. my the my desire, my fire for my passion for grant writing, and I didn't think that I'd ever come to that place because I love everything about grant writing. I love everything about it. I I think it's the most magical thing that that a person could do because it's like, wow, I am, I am helping you bring your dream from the other side. Literally, I'm taking an idea <laughs> and I'm making it real. <laughs> I love it. Listen, I'm telling you guys, you probably are not going to find anybody more passionate about writing grants than this young lady right here. She <laughs> loves to write grants. Now, I love teaching and helping people to learn how to write grants, but she loves to actually write the grants. And as you've heard, she's already done a, an amazing job so far. So, so you come back and you have this time again, and you're going through this training again. And then what happens from there? Well, I, um, I got to a place where I, I hadn't, I wasn't taking any clients as we were, as I was going through the training. And I said, I really wanted to just focus in on the clients. And it got to a place where I said, wow, I need to, I need to, I need to get clients. <laughs> I need to do something different. I need some clients. Um, well, but you and, know, but before that, you end up signing up for the for the uh, for the GFIC, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I signed I, up for I the know you, you do work in Gambia and all these different places, but you I've, signed. Up. I've been all over the place, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I I signed. I, I had a call with you. I signed up for the GFIC, and then I left the country. I went to Gambia, and. When I came back, we had an opportunity. We we chatted again, and and I knew that the the GFIC was a play a starting point, but I knew that they wasn't going to take me to where I needed to go because I was in this weird place in my business. I had already had the mm -hmm. business for six years. I was I I'm a proficient. I know how to write grants. That is not. I don't need that part. I, I yeah. there, there was something missing. Uh -huh. What is it that I didn't have? And so in our, our call, I, I remember we got to chatting and we were talking and you were like, whoa, I got, I got to call you back, <laughs> you know, because you had another call. We were in it. And so really after that call back and I started thinking, you asked me a question, you know, where do you want to, where do you see yourself in this next year? And and then you got off the phone. And I, so I had a half hour, 45 minutes to think about well, where do I see myself? I had never, I'd never even asked myself that question before. You know, mm -hmm. I'd had this business for six years already or up to coming six. And I'm like, uh -huh. I, I don't even know. I yeah. could not answer that question at first. And so I sat down and I started doing some math and I, I looked at the bigger picture. Well, where do I want to be? And then I started working backwards from that. Okay, this is where I want to be. What is it going to take? And how much, how many grants do I, what do I need to do? And mm -hmm. so when you called me back and, and I was so excited to say, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go, Rodney, I got to go. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was interesting because my goal was higher than you was like, I got to, you thought you had a number. And I was like, no, I got the number. <laughs> you got the number, right. <laughs> so 
having set that up and, and done that, that was probably, that was the first time that I had stepped into the understanding and realization that I was more than a grant writer, that I was mm -hmm. truly a grant professional. Just setting that goal for myself mm -hmm. of what I'm going to make in a year, what, it, what this next year is going to look like. It, mm -hmm. That was the first time that I felt like, oh, this is, I'm a, I'm a grant professional. I'm a professional. Yeah. I'm not just this grant writer that's hoping and, and praying that my client's going to pay me and that, and that, you know, he's not going to ask me about, did it really take you that many hours? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a real professional. I'm yeah. bringing something to the table that no one else is bringing and, and, okay. and not in the same way. Wow. So let me ask you this. Okay. So we're at that time, it sounds like there were, you were, you were kind of in flux, kind of making it, getting ready to make a transition. Are you, what, what, what was your goal? When we talked that time, what was that goal that you set for yourself? I said, I'm going to make, this was in August or late June. I said, mm -hmm. by next June, I'm going to make $180,000. Wow. That's my goal. Got it. And that was for 2020, by 2022. 2022. I, I, I gave myself a full year to just mm -hmm. take this in and make it happen. Got it. And then you, from there, you joined the GFIC. When you joined that, you 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 came in hitting home runs as soon as you came in because I believe you took something that was in there that you learned and turned it into. T tell us about you know. Tell us tell us about that. That was. I don't want you to miss that. That was pretty pretty special. So one of the uh, actually. The first things that I got from your program before I even left to go to Africa, before I left to go to Gambia, I got into the GFIC. And the first thing I seen was how to, the, you have a program of creating a fund development resource book. Mm -hmm. And I went and I watched that video over and over again. I studied it, I figured it out. I took out the, um, what is it? You had some handouts of some of the, how this should look, a guide. And I said, okay, I can do this. I like this idea because you know, the fund development book really is a book of data for nonprofits of funders that are in alignment with their mission, their vision, that it takes the guesswork out of what am I going to write for? So being able to have that resource of compiled funders that you already know you're in alignment with, you don't have to search for, there's a calendar, you can say, okay, it's February, this is who I need, <laughs> this is who I'm going to, to write to, it changes and it shifts how you are able to do your grant right. It really sets you up for success in the strategic long, you know, this for me, this is the beginning steps of your strategic grant plan. Mm -hmm. Having a know all, a, a know of where I'm going to get these funding sources from. And wow. so I took that idea and I said, okay, well, let me see what I can do. And I created my first, and when I was in Gambia, I was sending out emails telling people, because I hadn't even told people that I had changed the business name. Because <laughs> wow. I had went through a whole rebranding <laughs> yes, re process into this year. And so I, you know, reintroduced myself. Hey, okay. this is me. I am Right Touch Consulting. You knew me as Please Marcy allow me w. to reintroduce Fair myself. Money. My name and, is exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, right touch. <laughs> I came out and I was just telling everybody, this is who I am. And this is a service that I'm offering. The Fund Development Report. And really providing a, a resource that a lot of busy executive directors, they they don't necessarily have. Uh -huh. And for nonprofits that um, are board led and, and volunteer led, they don't have that kind of time because they're doing the grants and they're running the program and, and, and. So I said, this is what I can provide you. What did it turn into? How much did it turn into for you that first one? Um, I sold that first fund development book for $5,000. Wow. So you and, turned that one book into 5K after going through 
that yes. part of the GFIC. Okay. Exactly. And, and then that and we connected after that time, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly. Yes. And that's when you said, okay, I'm ready to do some stuff. I'm ready to make, <laughs> I'm ready to take off. I, I got to do something different. I'm ready. And it's, so I, I was, when we got that opportunity to talk and I said, okay, this is, I'm doing this, what, whatever it takes, whatever it costs. I was, I had already put in my brain when I connected with Grant Central, whatever it cost to move me to the next level, I will do. Because that is how important not only my business is, but that's how important I am. I mean, mm. going through the program really helped me rebalance that structure. This is how important I am. I'm going to pour into myself mm -hmm. so that I can pour into my clients. Wow. And that's exactly what you did. You came in and, and do you remember the first, first two sessions that we were getting ready to have the first two sessions? You remember what happened then? <laughs> 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 are, we, are we speaking of that um that self-confidence formula that <laughs> oh yes the wonderful <laughs> self-confidence formula because 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 you know for me one of the things in, in coaching and working with so many people i realized that if you don't have that confidence piece down all of this other stuff will trip you up yes and so i remember we came to the self-confidence formula i said hey you got to memorize this before we get started what tell, tell them about your journey with that tell them about it <laughs> Well, I remember you, you gave it to me. You gave me the first, the first part of it. It's a five part. You gave me the first part. And you, when we talked again, you said, okay, you got it. And I was like, oh, he was serious. I, I wasn't ready. Because <laughs> it's about, for those of you who don't know, it's about two, pa two pages. And yes. it's about, it takes about two minutes and 30 some odd seconds or so to be able to say it, even just to read it. And I was challenging her not just to read it daily, but I was challenging her to, to memorize it, to learn it. <laughs> and I had five, four days. I had four <laughs> days, y'all. <laughs> Do you remember what happened when you came, came to the session you didn't have it memorized? You were like, okay, well, we're not going any further. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and we didn't. That was, that was, talk to you, talk to you Tuesday, Thursday. <laughs> that was a Monday. You said talk to you Thursday. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. He was serious about this self-confidence formula. Well, let me, let me get serious too. But I would tell you when Thursday came around, I was, boo y'all, boo y'all, you can't <laughs> get it. You I can't get it. Day. Out. I was like, oh, who came with you? You ain't gonna hang up the phone on me again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, my dad's like, okay, great. You paying your money, but until you learn this, I don't care. We got to get this. This is that right. important. How important was it for you to learn that? And and oh. it, what did it do for you when you learned it? Um interestingly, I remember as I was going through the process of it, I'm like, why are we starting with this? This is, ugh. <laughs> I was, I was like, I, this is a lot. I'm paying all this money to learn this for me. <laughs> you know? I'm paying for this. Okay. All right. Yes. You paid for this, but I didn't, I didn't want to learn it. I, there was some resistance in learning the self-confidence formula. And then what happened as I started learning it, we would have our, our meetings, our weekly meetings and things we would talk about that would be totally unrelated to the self-confidence formula. My brain would start pointing me back to the self-confidence formula. He said, X, Y, Z, but this is what it means in the self-confidence formula. Oh, you mean doing work, you know, inducing others to serve you because you first served them because you put yourself out there first? That's what that means. I mean, wild. It, it, it was amazing to be in that space. It was amazing. So yeah, the, the self-confidence, I say it every day. I say it every single day. You and I both. And it, it changed my life in a very profound way. And it's mm -hmm. still having profound impact. And yeah. so that's why we that's why we started because it's it's the foundation for where we're going. Mm -hmm. So then you started having these sessions. We started going through the VIP program, right? 
and working together in that regard. And then our good friend, Tony, came along and started working with us and we were working on this together. Tell us about what that was like having some sisterhood or some camaraderie ship in it. What was that for you? What did that do having that, that experience? Oh, it was, it was beautiful because we got to pour into each other. Mm. We got to share different experiences. This is, you know, Tony is an amazing, she is all about the consulting and the behind the scenes. And I'm all about the, the in front grant writing. So she would say things that I would have to take a step back and go, oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't think of it that way. You know, it was really that give and take of sharing of information that made the program and the group itself just so amazing. Wow. Very enjoyable. Now, that's good. Now, those of you who've been waiting, because I have, we haven't even told you about the amazingness of what happened in addition to that. Take us to wherever you want to take us to, Rosetta, about the time when we were getting ready to start what seemed like a downward spiral, but really turned into quite some touchdowns for you. Oh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> you know, I... Like I said, I decided that I was going to focus in on this, this program. This was the first time in my entire career that I've ever put any, done any real deep dive in professional development. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I said, I'm not taking any clients. I'm not doing anything. I am focusing on building myself, building this business, getting educated, really learning what it is and be becoming re-inspired to be a grant writer you know because yeah that's the hardest part when I'm sitting there like I don't want to be a grant writer anymore <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. So I took that time and I think we got to a place where I said I, I didn't have any clients and I was fine I was like I'm not taking clients I I'd made some great choices and some decisions that I didn't feel like I needed to you and, started turning down business. I remember yeah. you telling people, no. That I was, was, I was. People were trying to give you money like, no. I said, <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, in fact, that that was a good three clients that I, you know, had said, no, I, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not ready. No, no, no. And so then I'm sitting there, probably the end of, um, I don't know, September. And I go, oh. I got to make some money. <laughs> I, I, should I have tried those clients? <laughs> I, I started to, I had a little second guess there. Hey, my, hey, my, I my, right, I was like, oh, I was, was I too, you know, I, I had to take a moment. But I, what happened was, I was afraid, or I had this moment of fear, like, Oh, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. And then from that moment of fear, I was able to shift that and say, no, you know that if you had taken those clients, you would not be able to go to this next step. Mm -hmm. So I was able to push the, you know, help it subside a little bit by reminding yeah. myself that I made that choice because I wanted, I have an idea of who I want to work with, the type of organizations, the type of energies, the type of the, yeah. everything about it. I know now what I want. I know yeah. those clients that I want to be around. Whereas when I was a, just a grant writer, anybody that showed up with a check, I was, yes, you got a nonprofit and a check. <laughs> no. No, girl. <laughs> but you know what you did, you did, because you did a wonderful job when we went through the clarity exercises, you did a wonderful job of spelling out who you wanted to work with and who you didn't want to work with. Yeah. And my God, you stuck to it. No, I don't want to work with this client no more. You stuck to it. That was really quite amazing, you know? Well, well, what I'm telling you, when I was sitting there trying to figure out, like, how am I eat? <laughs> I was like, should I, should I have stuck with that? <laughs> should my resolve been so? <laughs> but, you know, what happened was I, I, I came to you and I said, hey, okay, I, I need to do something different. And I, I can you help me brainstorm this? I, I got to have a different kind of plan. 
And mm. you said, you, you like, you know, you, I, I love how you all cool. Just take a minute. Let's, let's think about it. You just, you meditated, you think on it. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna think on it. I'm like, okay, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna do this though. And so I came with my ideas, you came with yours. And, and they did not, because I was still, they, initially they did not mesh because I was still in that small thinking mm -hmm. mindset. Mm. And I'm like, well, you know, I could really just, if I go after three clients a day and I start advertising and doing this and doing that, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could <laughs> have a summit or create some kind of series, do something, a workshop. And I'm like, I could do that. I think throughout this program, I have had so many moments of, of like shock. Mm -hmm. I can do that because I didn't have that opportunity or I, I didn't, I never seen anyone just do that. Yeah, it, you gave we, yourself permission. We gave you, yeah. hey, give yourself permission to do it. And so many grant professionals don't sometimes do that. They stay bound. And, and, and the beautiful thing is I was having fun just being alongside of you on the journey, seeing the light bulb go off. And, and not only did it go off, I saw it go off and you take it by the horn, the bull by the horns and start riding it. So that was awesome. Was, so you did the event. I did the event and and I got an opportunity. And remember, wait, wait, wait. Remember this. We can't forget this. We recorded it before. We did an interview before the event talking about you getting ready to do something. Yes. So you were still in the thick of it then. I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't, I wasn't even ready. I, I was just like, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> you know, um, but really putting that in that spot in my brain, I said, you can do this. It will be a thing. We can move forward. All of those things kept me motivated to going and, and moving forward. So and tell so, us about the event. What, what, oh, the what, event was amazing. It, it was amazing. I um, had 20, 25 people sign up and then 20 people showed up and 18 stayed to the end. Uh, wow. Five wow. people signed up for a, a free assessment, um, did a few discovery calls. I, I mean, it was an amazing event and it was, it was really right up my alley. I, I, of course, I wasn't prepared to be the talking head in the room, uh, but <laughs> as, I, as I started doing it, I said, you know what, this is, this is okay because I'm adding value and I'm giving value mm -hmm. to someone. Yes. And, yes. and I'm nervous and I was sweating. I was. <laughs> and, it, and it cooled it. It didn't matter. You gave it your didn't best matter. and people showed up. Now, something else tremendous happened. So you said some of these people got on your, on your calendar for the discovery calls. Yes. About five. About now, five tell us what amazing thing happened about two weeks ago from some of those calls that came through for discoveries? Well, my, I want to say it was my second discovery call. Um, I was able to land my first uh, golden goose package. I sold my first golden goose package, which is a 90 grant package over the course of a year that includes all types of goodies from fun development books to board trainings. <laughs> and you sold that for how much? 90,000. So you turn what seemed like a downward spiral into a great big fat golden goose <laughs> of an egg for 90K. <laughs> Bravo, 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 pats on the back, pats <laughs> all on the back. Yes. And yeah. so I remember I'm looking and all of a sudden I'm getting a message saying something about you having a hard time breathing because you just got you getting <laughs> freaking <laughs> thousand dollars. I'm see if I can find it around here. Cause I remember <laughs> saying this a couple of weeks ago. I just got my $90,000 client. Okay. And then that wasn't all that happened on that amazing day. No. What else happened on I'm, I'm still looking for the text right now, even as we speak. And, and as soon as I find it, I'm on still Probably, I had taken a call. That was a Friday. I'd taken a call two days before that. And another person who had came to the event, we were chatting. 
And one of the things she said to me is, man, you said, go update your guide star. And she said, I went out there and I did that. And I'm proud to tell you that my guide star is now at, G, at the gold standard. And so we, you know, we, it, it really let me know, hey, yeah. you added value. And so we were talking and chatting and, and she wasn't really sure. So I gave her a couple of days to figure out what, you know, what she wanted to do. Uh -huh. And that same Friday, she emailed me. Um, yeah, we're going to go with your Inkwell package, which is a $15,000 um, package. Now, look at this. Hold on. Here's, I'm going to see if you can see this because you, you, here's that message that you sent over to me. Can you see that right there? <laughs> it says something like, hey, uh, is, I can't breathe right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I hit you back like, bravo. And then, and then later on that day, I get this message at 656. And what does it say there? It talks about the $15,000 deal. So you literally had a $105,000 day with your grant business. And I am so proud of you. What an amazing job. Because Thank you. You, you prior to that time, how much, what was the most annually that you had been able to gross over the course of one year with your grant business, would you say? Uh, the most was 70. That was the most that I was able to, to make. And then I was really <clears throat> concerned with how and what would happen with COVID and, and after the fact, because mm -hmm. I'm like, man, <clears throat> people was holding on to money. They was, they was holding on to tissue. So you know they was holding on to money. Exactly. <laughs> so I was really concerned that a, a lot of nonprofits wouldn't be able to afford me or that I wouldn't be able to, I, I didn't know what the, the scenery was going to look like. Um, yeah. But I just, when I, as I was in the class, like I said, I made that decision. This is for me. I am going to pour this into me so that I can really be a benefit to my clients so that I can really show them and help them get to this next level and, and not just be that nonprofit that yeah. is taking in pennies and, and, and you know always going after the same funders. No, I am saying, let's take it to the next level. Because if you've been around for a long time, you're clearly doing something that mm -hmm. needs to be done in our community. Absolutely. You're helping and you're adding value. And the cool thing is you're going to do so much more now because you have taken yourself to a different place. And now you have even more to give in a right. very positive way. And the sky's the limit. The cool thing is you had you prior to us working together, had you had any sales training? No sales training. What about, what about marketing? I don't remember about no the marketing. No sales, no marketing. I have a winning personality and a you lot of energy. Have a winning personality. <laughs> and, you know what? and there's a lot of there's a lot of grant professionals like that. They they their Achilles heel is that they they know how to do grant writing. They're good at grant writing, but mm -hmm. no one has ever taken the time to teach them how to market themselves, right. how to present themselves, and then also how to even do sales. They don't most don't even have a sales script. When you say sales script, they say what script? Who? I, I was there. That's where I, I remember when you had me working on my sales script and I was, it was so difficult mm -hmm. and I couldn't understand why I was feeling like I had to just sit there and read right off the script. And, and because I, I'm like, I didn't know this, but I didn't realize that I'm already having these conversations every day. Mm -hmm. I am having these conversations. I am doing the work. I just didn't realize I was doing the work. Mm -hmm. And what happened as I was going through the program, you helped me not only see that I was doing the work, but, but pull, it, pull it in, reel it in a little bit and shape mm -hmm. it in a way so that I was able to consistently, consistently make these um, sales and have these conversations because it was really, I, I, was, I was showing up. Yeah. I was showing up in a way that I wasn't scattered like, oh, you know, I don't know. What if they want this? What if, no, I have a solid plan. And mm -hmm. no, I'm not going to divert from the plan that I have. This is awesome. the plan. And if it doesn't work for you, I, I wish you all the luck. 
in finding that grant writer that you can work with. <laughs> but I know my value. It this program it, from the from saying that day, 180k is what I'm going to make by 2022 June. Mm -hmm. It started me, and that's this this wheel that no, I know my value, and it just grew from it. there, and it I grew love it. from there. I love it. And I love that you know your value now and that you're mm -hmm. continuing to nurture that. That's that's awesome. Something really cool happened a week ago, this past week, to add to the coffer. Yes. We go add us, to the coffer. To, to add to the coffer. Tell about tell us about that real quickly. Um, well, I have a another um another organization just signed on again. So was able to, to pull in a, a whole new organization in farming, which is one of the areas that I am, my dream is to own a farm, Rodney, so. I believe it's gonna happen. I believe it's gonna happen. <laughs> so you added another what to the coffer? Uh, 15, that uh, a $15,000. Uh, so now project. we're at 120K yep. and we're only in month, what, number four? Yeah. Uh, and so, you got, yeah, so you have. So you have literally eight more months to knock your goal out the ballpark. And I already know you're going to do it. It's just a matter of time. Well, the plan is to, um, of course, knock the goal out of the ballpark. But I, I, I really am only going to take a certain amount of clients in the United States because I've also expanded my business to Gambia. So Look at you, Gambia. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us about that so the people that's in Gambia can get a chance to know what they can expect because you probably only take it so many out there as well. Yes. Um, part of what I think makes my organization, my company unique is the fact that I'm really trying to create a long-term relationship with you. So mm -hmm. I, am, I only want to take a few clients that we can work together. We can craft your proposals, craft your department because my vision is to show up and be this grant grant development department that's not even in your building. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I, I want to have everything that you need. I want you to know, oh, you know what? Rosetta's got that. She's taking care of that. Right Touch, they've done that already. So that is my vision. And in order to do that, I have to be first of all, very selective of the clients that I take because I need uh -huh. to be able to work with clients that can understand hey, this is a partnership and, and mm -hmm. I need you to hold up your end of that partnership just like you need me to hold up my end. So that's it. number one thing. And uh -huh. then I want to be able to give you the attention that you need because every grant department, every grant proposal, it, it has a thing about it. it and, and I need and I want to be able to put that magic and help you create magic through my words. And I can't do that if I'm spread too thin with 12 and 15 clients all over the, you know, everywhere. So I'm very selective. Um, so in the United States, I'm only taking six clients. Okay. Um, and right now I only got two spots left. So <laughs> we are <laughs> Y'all better get her while she's available. She, by the time you watch this, she may not be available. You, you might be in a waiting line, okay? Right, exactly. <laughs> and then in Gambia, um, I'm only going to be taking four clients because I am going into a new, um, you know, it, this is a whole different kind of world, working in a developing country, really mm -hmm. helping them pull it and, and establish these relationships with funders here in the United States and other nonprofits. Wow. Really, my vision for that company is to create a network of sister organizations that wow. are, so we have this United States organization that can work with this Gambian organization and serve as, you know, education, um, service fiscal sponsors, provide uh -huh. education for them to really you know, we are just all one. So I want to bridge that gap and bring them together wow. and help us get to the next level. That so is I'm, such a cool vision. How, how did you, what inspired you to do work with Gambia and Africa in that particular area? Well, um, I actually lived in, in Gambia when I was uh, a child. So I, I lived there for a year and I uh -huh. lived with an amazing family. And um, I just... 
I had to, unfortunately, I, I had to come home and I, I didn't want to. I wasn't ready. I wanted to, to, to finish up life in Gambia. So yeah. um, when I had to come home, I stayed connected with the family, of course. And so we, we really just kind of grew up together. And my, my sister, um, as my sister, uh, her name is Nafi Sise. She's a doctor and she does uh, medical missions in Gambia. She has okay. a, a nonprofit. Uh, called the Coral Usman Sise Foundation. And uh -huh. she, her and I were talking, I, I would see a grandma just throw it her way. Hey, think about this. <laughs> you know, I mean, just not really ever jumping into it, but she asked me, she said, you know, I'm getting ready to do a mission. Would you like to come and, and, and help me with the mission? And, and we can just start discussing what we can do for the foundation and I was like of course <laughs> I hadn't been back wow. in 27 years so wow. when I got back there and doing the mission it was it was a lot of work I mean huh? I, I I am so grateful for the work that she does I mean she's putting in the time and we've yeah. seen so many people and just really a blessing for the community that uh -huh. I was I, while I was there my wheels were turning I'm like you know what I can do this. I can, I have a successful business in America that I can easily just make a successful business right here too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That is awesome. And listen, I could go on all day talking to you about this, but I have got to go and I know you've got to go, but before we get ready to head out, uh, first of all, congratulations on the wonderful success and for believing in yourself and taking the time to grow the way that you've done. And the world is going to be even so much more better than what it is now because of the work that you're doing. You've already had great impact. I'm listen. I can only imagine what's going to happen next. And I know you got a show, uh, Tony. You and Tony are going to be doing real soon. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's talk about grants. That's really cool. So I want those of you that are out there follow this young lady. She's doing amazing work. And if you are one of the few nonprofits in the United States, you better hear up and get in line because she ain't going to be here long <laughs> available for you. Okay. Uh, with that being said, if there was anybody out there that was looking and they maybe are a grant professional or maybe wanted to become a grant professional, what would you say to that person? Maybe who was where you were at, maybe doing a business, but the life and the fun of it was kind of leaving and and they're thinking about possibly doing the VIP business coaching program. What would you say to them? Um, don't hesitate. It is one of the absolute best things that I could have done for myself and my business. Um, it it was the oxygen. It it really brought the oxygen back into my 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 business. Um, I was ready to give up because I, it's, I couldn't, I couldn't navigate it anymore. I, I really didn't feel like I was making the impact that I wanted to make and the impact that I used to make. Um, and I was just like, Oh, I don't know. So don't, if, if you're thinking about it, get off the fence and just go through the doors. Don't, don't even, don't question the, the cause. Don't just do it. Just do it because you will I mean, you will shine on the other side. I am happier. I'm more confident. And ironically, I'm more confident in myself and the business. Uh, like I know, I've always known what I could do as a grant writer. And now I'm like, I'm in here. Yes. <laughs> All That's of awesome. it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I remember when we first started working together, I said, hey, listen, this is not going to just change your business this is going to change you your kid is going to be your child is going to be different mm -hmm. because you're going to be different that's awesome oh. that it's happening i know she's looking back and saying Ooh, look at my mama shy look Ooh. at my mama shy <laughs> <laughs> that's great rosetta always good to have you and i want you to come back when you hit that goal that i know you're going to be hitting i might be talking to you the next week knowing you <laughs> where you've been going at it uh, <laughs> So, so congratulations, and Thank I wish you. you all the best. Keep on making a wonderful difference. Those of you that are out there, keep on doing what you're doing. If you're on the fence about doing one of the programs, Rosetta just got to tell you, don't get off the fence. And, and remember to be brave, be bold, be brilliant, do what she did. What did she do? She took charge. And as a result, she's put in the work, and now she's getting some of the benefits 
of putting in the work. So be brave, be bold, be brilliant, take charge, and I'll see you next time. Peace. What do they say in Hawaii? What are we Aloha. doing? <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. All right. Thanks very much. Have a good one. You too.